everyone thanks for joining us we're just waiting a few minutes for um hopefully uh, to hopefully allow a few more people to join before we start Hi everyone, um, we're gonna maybe give it another minute um, and hopefully allow a few more folks to join before we get started. Great. Um, let's go again, go ahead and get um, started with the introduction. Um, good afternoon and welcome to the Office of Energy Infrastructure Safeties or Energy Safeties public meeting to consider the adoption of the Energy Safety Safety Certification Guidelines. Uh, joining me today is Lauren Sabin, Program and Project Supervisor of Energy Safety's Safety Culture Branch. Uh, before I hand things over to Lauren, I'd like to take a moment to orient you to where we are in the Safety Certification Guidelines adoption process. Um, all electrical corporations seeking a safety certification must say it satisfy requirements pursuant to Public Utilities Code Section 8389E. A safety certification is valid for 12 consecutive months following the issuance of the certification. Energy Safety will issue a safety certification within 90 days of a request if the electrical corporation provides documentation that it has satisfied the requirements stated in the safety certification guidelines. Energy Safety establishes its guidelines for the Electrical Corporation's submission of safety certification requests based on the criteria set forth in Public Utilities Code Section 8389E. The Energy Safety Draft Safety Certifications Guidelines were submitted for public comment on June 19th, 2024. Stakeholder comments uh, have been considered. Today, we will review the changes made to the safety certification guidelines since 2023 and consider adoption of these guidelines. Thank you again for joining this, us today, and I'll now hand the meeting over to Lauren. Thanks. Thank you, Susie. Okay. So our agenda for today is a brief introduction and safety message, an overview of the safety certification guidelines, changes to the draft safety certification guidelines, uh, adoption, and then also closing remarks. So first, we want to welcome you to Energy Safety's adoption meeting for the safety certification guidelines. Um, a very brief safety message. Um, even though we all, all are remote, uh, please be aware of your surroundings. In the event of an emergency, please um, have your evacuation routes mapped um, in advance and be aware of them. And then with the current weather, please take precautions during the extreme heat uh, that we're currently experiencing. All right, uh, public comment. If during the presentation you wish to comment, uh, press the raise hand button on Zoom. Participants will be unmuted, unmuted in the order of their hand raised. And for any dial in participants that need, uh, will need to press uh, two to raise their hand um, as well. Okay, moving forward to a brief overview of the safety certification guidelines. The safety certification guidelines provide direction to electrical corporations on meeting the requirements of Public Utilities Code Section 8389E, which must be satisfied for energy safety to issue a safety certification. Written public comments. Uh, draft safety certification guidelines were published on June 19th of 2024. Uh, comments were received from Southern California Edison on July 9th, 2024, 
and reply comments were due on July 19th, 2024, and energy safety received none. So changes from uh, the 2023 safety certification guidelines. Uh, there are three changes. The first is an evergreening of the guidelines, which will allow updates to occur as needed instead of annually. The second uh, component was the introduction section clarifies timing of safety certification requests. And lastly, um, the updated schedule procedures in con their updated schedule procedures in comments and review process section. Uh, we'll pause briefly here. I should say, let's go back one. We'll pause here for any public comment related to the changes from 2023. Actually, Lauren, can you go back to the slide on public comment? And we're going to, at this point, take public comment on anything that um, related to the um, safety certification guidelines um, that anyone might want to comment on. Okay, I'm um, hearing none rain. Do, do we have any um, raised hands? At this time, there are no hands raised for public comment. Okay. Um, okay, um, with that, let's move to back to the last slide, Lauren. Okay, and then we'll move forward with adoption of the safety certification guidelines and closing comments. Great, um, I'll take over for that. Um, so we now move to the portion of this public meeting where we consider adoption of the energy safety safety certification guidelines. Energy safety noticed this public meeting on July 19th, 2024. Government code section 15475.6 requires that substantive, sub, substantive changes to guidelines require at least 30 days written notice to the public and an opportunity to comment prior to adoption. The safety certification guidelines considered for adoption today include some minor revisions from the version of the safety certification guidelines adopted in 2023, as Lauren discussed earlier. Energy Safety released its draft safety certification guidelines on the safety certification guidelines docket through Energy Safety's e-filing system with services associated service list on June 19th, 2024, and provided a 30-day comment period on the draft guidelines. Energy Safety received and considered written comments in revising its safety certification guidelines. The final safety certification guidelines remain unchanged from the draft guidelines Energy Safety issued in June 2024. The final safety certification guidelines are hereby adopted. A clean version of the final guidelines will be published on Energy Safety's website and released on the safety certification guidelines docket through Energy Safety's e-filing system to the associated service list by tomorrow, August 8th, 2024. Thank you for your participation in today's public meeting, and this meeting is now adjourned.